It's seven o'clock. It's Sunday night. <laughs> wow, we've both never done a Johnny Vegas impression at the same time. Oh, mine wasn't as good as yours. I also want to make you aware that this is the last episode in April, Carl. Yeah. And do you, oh. know, uh, do you know what we've not done for the last three episodes? Said roller titles? Yeah, that's it. No, it's really? not, in, not in any of the episodes. Blimey. Yeah, I've just sort of tried to find a place to put it or just not put it in at all. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, just not put it in at all. Um, this is just we've had so much content this month. Yeah, with so many great guests, we just forgot to do it. Um, oh. And also, we filmed this one slightly out of sync because I was late. So we, I'm always late. But we've had Pippa, our guest, on, and then we've gone back and filmed the intro. And I feel I need to explain that because this room I'm in now is going to look very, very dark, and then all of a sudden, oh, very, very light. Okay. And then very, very dark. Cool, 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 um, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, Carl, it's the end of April. It's the end of our... It's the Mate, end should of we draw those titles or what? Um... <laughs> I feel like we touched base and said, yeah, we never did it. And, <laughs> and then we didn't do it. <laughs> I think what we do is let's not do it and see if we remember later. All right, brilliant. Good idea. Yeah. Roll them at the end. Roll, yeah, <laughs> should, anyway. should I do that? At the end of the show, just and after the credits go up and all the patron names go up, show the titles, mate. Yeah, brilliant. I'll do that. I'll do that if yeah. I remember, and if I don't, yeah. I'll just hope that everybody who's watching on the show doesn't remember. Yeah. Um. So this has been the most positive week or positive month, sorry, yeah. of awkward turkey podcasts that we've ever had, and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I I've started genuinely started after the um Francis episode. I've started not going on my phone in the morning. I tried it for two days, and then <laughs> on on day three, and then I just wanted another PlayStation Five. Yeah, on, on day three, something happened, and I thought I've just got to have a little look. But I'm, I am making a conscious effort, the same as you, to have a little bit less screen time, and yeah. I'm hoping that that will knock on to eventually having a little less screen time like this as well. Oh no, I mean, I, I mean, we'll be in the same room. It doesn't mean I don't have to look at your damn Ooh. face. Ooh. Well, this is awkward. Of the beer. <laughs> so what's happening uh, in today's episode then? What we got it, on? In today's episode, we've got um, Fit Pip. One Fit Pip. Fit, one Fit Pip. One Fit Pip. Um, she is uh, a personal trainer. She is a advocate for fitness. And we thought because we've done mental health and well-being and positivity. Yeah, it all it kind of falls good, into the same. Be good to do some some sort of fitness stuff. But also, I think it's... It's the, a, the t a time in everybody's lives at the moment where they're trying to sort of get in shape because everybody's Bro, and it's time. hard to get motivated right now. Oh, it is mate, so hard to get motivated. I like fitness and I'm bored yeah. of it. I'm so bored of it. I'm so bored of it. Yeah, it's really um, difficult. But she's going to help answer. Well, I know she's going to help answer some questions because we've already done it. Because we've already filmed it. Um, <laughs> she's going to talk to us about um, about like things you can and can't do because yeah. they say, don't they, that um, that it's all about like diet as well as fitness. And I, I, I bloody love McDonald's. I don't know about you. Yeah. Like a, you like I a Haribo. Had a McDonald's forever. No, I haven't either. When this finishes, but it's because yeah. <laughs> when this finishes, <laughs> should we all find of that mental health and McDonald's? I, I, no, I can't even. I'm just saying McDonald's now. After all of that mental health talk and fitness talk, it's off for McDonald's, isn't it? I think. I think it's what we do life. to cap the month off Except is you break. and I find a service station in the middle of Swansea and Stafford. We yeah, drive to neat. it. We have a McDonald's and we just look at our phones. And then it just shows what we've learned. It shows that we've learned everything that we needed to learn this month. Um, I do want to say thank you to our guests because, uh... <laughs> and we have taken it seriously. <laughs> I feel like that's downplayed it all. But I've, oh, I know. I've it's bans, isn't it? I've really enjoyed talking about um, talking about some 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 really interesting topics yeah. this month. Sure. Um, and I've also really enjoyed uh, meeting some people outside of the yeah, circle that exists that's you and me <laughs> yeah wait. yeah but no i like the idea of um not you know the fitness thing i think everybody thinks of fitness being oh i've got to look good and and like yeah it's not about that it's not it's about making yourself feel better it's a bit about making your mind feel better and having a bit like for me okay for me and it won't be the same for everyone but for me it's about 
I'm not interested in the way my body looks. Don't bother me whatsoever. Looks it's fabulous, about, mate. It lo- thank you, dude. Thank I didn't God. mean to blow a kiss Stop at the it. end of it. I'm going to take that out. I'm <laughs> but taking I'm going to take out. it. I've grabbed it. Now it's mine. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, but it's about making my mind feel better and kind of giving me a bit more go on certain things and just not feeling fatigued and stuff like that. Here's, so here's, that's why here's, I'm interested. Something, here's something we didn't talk about in the next bit. And it's good that we're doing it this way because I know we didn't talk about it. But... When you talk about like, because we talked a lot this last uh, month about being really overtired with stuff yeah. because it's the same day over and over and over. And one thing that's really, well, what I found really good about the fitness side of it is you do get a lot more energy. You do feel a lot more awake right. and a lot more alive, but you do have to sort of get past that bit of, I don't really want to do it today. Yeah. And then make yourself do it. And then you go, oh, I'm that's, really glad I did it. That's what I'm really interested in in taking from today is that, doing it for i think i think what what pippa said and i know it's coming up but what she said about um doing it for yourself so it's for your own needs and what you were trying to take out of it so whether it be losing weight or whether it be wanting to look good there's nothing wrong in wanting to look good there's nothing wrong in any of it but it's about doing it for what your needs are more than yeah anything. you've got you, you've you, there has to be there has to be a reason for it because otherwise yeah. it'll just be your start i think and or anyone will start, they'll do it for two weeks and go, yeah, absolutely. This is, this is shit. There needs to be a reason. There needs to be a reason. Let's, um, let's get her on. Let's get okay. her on. And then you and I can have a talk afterwards um, about um, where we're going to go for that McDonald's. Perfect. Roll the guest jingle. I forgot to do that as well for the rest <laughs> of April. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been under a lot of pressure. Really like you. Honestly, with the Francis one, you and me are talking, and then he just appears. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Amazing. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is is it one fit Pip? One Pip, fit one Pip? Pip, Pippa Hale. Yeah, Pippa Hale. Here she is. All right, so here is my friend Pippa. She is here to tell us all things fitness and healthy body isms to get <laughs> me off my ass. Heyo. <laughs> Is that is that exactly the reason why we're doing it, Carl? Is it yeah, to get pretty you, much? And I'm not going to lie to you. Secret Lockdown secret. has not been kind to this Barnet or this body. Tell me about it, like the roots. Do not judge this. I'm trying to hide it with my hair. Like. Oh yeah, it's I great, thought that was it. I thought that was a little jaunty hat. I'm joking. I thought. <laughs> I knew it was your hair. Test, Tom thought you were off to a <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge. No judgment, you. My, look at this. No judgment, you. My friend. Oh God, lockdown so, life. It's really lovely to meet you, uh, Pippa, and uh, we're going to talk um, a little bit about fitness to sort of round off this month on the podcast that me and Carl have done, which has kind of been about um, like well-being and mental health and, and yeah. positivity and all that sort of stuff. And it's a great thing to talk about um, in lockdown three or whatever lockdown we're all in at the moment um, because. About 12 months ago, when this all started, there was a massive surge, me included in that as well, with people who wanted to um, use the time that they'd got off work or the time that they'd got at home to like improve their physical fitness. Yeah. And at one point, you couldn't even get um, gym gear, you couldn't even get weights. Dumbbells, dumbbells were. (laughs) Go back. You couldn't even get dumbbells. (laughs) Like I know what they were called. So, <laughs> but having a look at your having a look at your Insta before we started today, Pippa, it's obvious that you weren't one of those people who just jumped on it in lockdown. It's something that you take quite seriously. Yeah. Um. So I want to ask, as somebody who's who works out quite a lot, how often? Oh, do you here work he out? goes. No, I want to know how how often. Here oh, he goes. So I work out. Um, I work out every day. There's one. I tried to take Same one. Days one rest day but it's like um it's like an active rest day so I'll go for a, like a couple of walks maybe two or three walks I'm really active I'm quite extreme two or three walks on a rest day yeah uh, how long are the walks Pippa do you want a dog you could take my I dog I, like I, could, I, could, I need uh, one I need one she's I need desperate to go for walks <laughs> um well I'll do like a 5k a 5k is a nice walk for me and then maybe in the evening I'll do like a two two or a three maybe another five I don't know Okay. A marathon. You know what a nice okay. walk just, for me is? To... to the shop. To the chippy. <laughs> yeah. Up to the chippy, get a bag of chips. 
<laughs> it is addictive, isn't it? Any any form of fitness is addictive because um, it does release endorphins. It does make you feel much, much better. And um, yeah, I think anything that makes you feel good is 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 addictive. But fitness um, for me, more than anything in lockdown, was just through boredom, just yeah. through total total boredom, and it helped me sleep. Because if I if I knacker myself out, there's a really good chance I can sleep. But I want to ask somebody who knows a lot about it because I don't know a lot about it. But you said there about having a rest day. How important is having a rest day? Um, yeah, you need it because you need to recharge your batteries. So for me, if I didn't have that rest day, I could the next session that I do have, it could be like half assed. Like it might not be my full potential because my muscles will still be sore. I, I sometimes with the rest days where well, I look forward to it because I love exercise and it's for me it's it's a hobby and I love it and I I, I don't see it as a chore but for some people if it is going to be something that you know they feel like they may have to just start doing having a rest day is like a goal or I'll get to that day and I'll I can just do whatever I want then I don't have to exercise so it's quite nice to have a day where you can just take off from exercise and just do whatever you want. It's good mentally. It does your body good. It allows obviously your muscles to recover. So it's very important that you do have a rest day. That was because I was talking to Carl just before we started. I've got an Apple Watch. Yes. And on the Apple Watch, I, I got it a couple of years ago when I first started really trying to get fit. And one of the things it does is you've got these rings. Yeah. And you close the rings every day and little fireworks go off and you get that sort of... Um, that little, uh, little I had an Apple Watch. I always wondered what I always wondered what they were there for. That, but yeah. they, they, it's they great. never it's, closed for me. It's great encouragement, but that it encourages you to do it every single day. So when I get to a day that I go, okay, I'm I'm tired now. I've done a lot of biking or a lot of weights or anything else like that. My watch goes while I'm relaxing. It's tapping me on the wrist and going. You haven't yeah. shut your rings. You haven't closed your rings, and that and that that takes it away from the rest day. So I was saying to Carl before, I'm thinking I'm going to throw the Apple Watch away now because yeah. I've built I've built the healthy habits. Yeah. Now I don't need a little piece of. You've got to be careful computer. with them as well, you know, because they're not accurate and they just they go off like everybody. And it's like, especially for me, if you've got, if you've got a sit down job, you don't get up in that time. It's like get up. I'm like I'm in the middle of something. Like I can't get up. It's not nice having something telling you, you know, what you need to do. All the time. So. The best one. The best one. It the, the best one. It does. Good one, Carl. Claire will love you for that. But the best one it does for me is if I'm on a day where I don't know I've been I've been working and I haven't been able to exercise. Yeah. It will calculate at about ten o'clock at night. It'll work out what I need to do to finish closing the rings, and then it will suggest it to me. Now I have them set really high because most days I cycle for twenty miles or so, and then I'll do some weights. So if it gets to 10 o'clock and I've done nothing, my watch will tap me on the wrist and it'll go, you can still close your rings. Totally worth it. Just a brisk two hour run should do it. And it's like 10 o'clock and I, I just go, I love it. Back <laughs> off Apple. So Pip, for someone like Carl who, who doesn't do, how much exercise would you say you're doing a week, Carl? Oh. Eating, eating V gummies. <laughs> and uh and playing your little guitar so so i i, I also went on on i follow pippa anyway but um i went on just to have a quick look through you know and see what we could talk about today and like yeah see so your story i was sitting there eating a twix thinking i've <laughs> life haven't i look at what? i have completely what have i done <laughs> you know what i mean she's like oh yeah just it's six o'clock in the morning just been for a run i'm sitting there 10 o'clock in the morning, having a Twix for my breakfast. <laughs> I, have, I, I, I'm, I should be dead, shouldn't I, by now? No. So, I think so there's, there's different how levels, isn't motivate there? motivate me? Oh. I think, well, motivation, I think for every individual, it's different because you've got to figure out your why, like why you're doing it. Because if I, if I said to you, I get up tomorrow, six o'clock and do what I do, you're going to be like, well, why? Like, why is six o'clock? And mm. what am I going to get from it? Believe me, you'll feel better, like, afterwards. Everyone does. Because when you get up and you work out, you feel, like you said earlier, Tom, about the endorphins, you feel amazing. You just feel like you've accomplished something before most people have even woke up. But it's not enough to stick. It's not enough to stay. And you mm. can try it for, you know, a couple of days. But until you figure out why you're doing it, it's it's going to be alien to everybody, you know, and unless you have a, a sort of goal. 
like if you wanted to lose weight if you had like a wedding coming up or something like that then you'd understand that that would be your why and then you'd you know you'd have that motivation to get up and do it because you've got a goal to achieve yeah of course yeah you know for me that- the mornings just work better for my for my routine so that that's why I'm up so early <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is what but we talked about it a little bit briefly last week Carl as well when we had Francis on the show. Yeah. But this is where I struggle with it a little bit now because it's been 12 months and having that goal like normally it would be like I'm an actor so I would keep myself in a or try and keep myself in a physique that is appropriate for a casting I might go up for and when you do a film they expect uh, a level of of fitness like there's there's yeah. certain films you go up for where you have to actually dehydrate yourself on purpose in order yeah. to look more ripped that's the level it's at so normally wow. I, I you sort of well i try and keep myself about six weeks away from that so yeah. at any point if the phone call comes in i can sort of achieve that in about a month a month and a half okay. and in doing that i can still enjoy like carl said the occasional twix and the odd dr beer um but with 12 months of no work and with 12 months of not really, it would be so easy to just go, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to need to stay in that shape. Um, that's been the difficult thing is, is motivating yourself day after day after day when there isn't really that end goal. And I think a lot of people that listen to the fitness episode will sort of have had the same idea that everybody had lockdown started. They went and got a bike. They got some dumbbells, didn't they, Carl? If they could, if they, if could, they mate, could, if they could, it's like a PS5. Um, couldn't get them for love, no money. But I think could have had mine. Is... They've been sitting in the fucking box for months. You haven't got one. I actually, I have. I was making a point then, Carl, anyway. Sorry, mate. I think, I think people without that would have had that goal maybe at the start of lockdown and maybe don't so much anymore because yeah. like it's, there isn't a goal. No one's, yeah. no one's going to a wedding. No one's going on holiday. Summer. Summer yeah. pod. Yeah, summer, summer pod. Summer oh, possibly. You know, winter, you know. <laughs> but for someone for someone like Carl, who's who's yeah. kind of like your your average guy with a great haircut and a lovely jacket right now, um, what would what's what's a, what would be like a good way to start? A good start yeah. point. Because yeah. what people do is they do what I do and they buy all the equipment and they go hell for leather in the first week. They really yeah. injure themselves. Yeah. And all the gear, no it idea. It just like it fades out then, doesn't it? It's like yeah, of course. Better. Yeah. I mean, I think for me, what I would advise is having, like I know you say about like the goal of maybe like a long term goal, a big goal. There's no weddings coming up. There's no, so people aren't going to have a big goal to maybe reach so I would focus on the little goals just to keep things interesting like in in your life as well so you know you could say oh in two weeks I want to have achieved this or I want to have done an extra maybe knock a minute off my if I was into running maybe knock a minute off like a 2k run just something like something like that so having little tiny goals to achieve before you know it a month would have passed and you've you've done two of you've, you know two week goals there there's four weeks you've done you've done two little goals. So it's just, I think, trying new things, trying new techniques to keep you on the path, keep you motivated. Having a big goal at the moment, like getting ready for something like, you know, a wedding or going on stage, that sort of stuff isn't going to happen. So it is harder. I can fully appreciate that it's so much harder to get into it. What are you looking at? It. <laughs> that it. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Having a goal like trying to get on stage, it's not going to happen, mate. So I know Tom bought Tom bought a Peloton Peloton bike. That's right, yeah. Peloton bike. Just before lockdown. Went. Right. Okay. It and was such it. a good bike. Gets on it. He loves it. He does the classes, and he loves being in a good in good shape. Mm. Same as I'm sure you love being in good shape. Here's mm. my problem. Okay. Naturally, I'm in all right shape. I'm in pretty good shape. Mm. So. When I take my top off, I kind of go, you look great. That, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. You look fucking great, Carlos. <laughs> there is no motivation for me to go, oh, I want to whatever. Yeah. I, I, I struggle because naturally I sit in that kind of, I don't know. But I think that's how a lot of people start. A lot of people do start fitness as a means to lose weight. Mm. That that does happen. Yeah. And then I think if it's if you stick on it and you don't, but I miss. I think I missed getting the bug for it. 
Yeah. There's not yet. Because there's, because it, like, I would naturally play five-side football. That would be my normal once, twice a week, I'd go and play five-side football. Well, that's so, just, I mean, it doesn't Fitness happen. level has always kind of been there. So, but yeah. so there's nothing, there's no, as you say, there's no goal for me. This is why I think I struggle. There's no goal to accomplish right now, right now. But that's it, like the physical exercise of it. If you don't want to lose weight and you don't want to gain weight, you just maybe want to maintain, then you're actually in a good position to explore different things. Like you don't have to do the traditional weight training because like I don't even do that I find it so boring like I won't go to the gym and just do a leg session or just work my back like I I I can't do that kind of training so I do different things like you know like I you you know I was doing dancing and before you if you set that on your watch you'd be surprised at how much you've been doing that it doesn't even feel like you're working out because it's something you enjoy you know and it's different what about people that like struggle to go to the gym because they feel intimidated like yeah that's a, that's a, i think that's a big thing for people yeah i they think get that, intimidated yeah. by what's in but, the gym environment. Yeah, what's it, the kind of clientele that a gym naturally has and it's because most of the time they've just been going for a long time those people yeah. so they're already in good shape mm-hmm. and it's difficult then i guess to yeah. turn up and, and be yeah of course. one of them because you're not I mean, it's really like, it's really good to get yourself in a gym environment because I know it can seem intimidating, but most of the time, I think it's, you build it up in your head to be worse than what it would be. But also I always find if you have somebody like a support network, like maybe a group of friends to go with or get yourself like a coach, like a a training coach, even if it was just online. So you didn't even have to go to the gym. They could give you things you can do, like hints and tips you can do in your own house or just outside of your house doesn't always have to be a gym environment to to keep fit and I think that's what I was trying to show a lot on my Instagram over the last year is that you can maintain your your fitness levels without even being in the gym that's that's where I am because I what you said and we've never talked about that car before but if we're on like a cruise ship uh with the band I will go to the gym on the cruise ship because most of the time everyone gets off the ship it's empty and yeah. you can go and use it and experiment and not feel like you're going to make yourself look like an idiot. And yeah. I like that, but I hate the idea of the gym. So when I... The, it is intimidating for people who don't go. Yeah, that's why the initially the Peloton appealed to me because yeah. I thought I can have that at home. Yeah. And bef- even before that, I would... Um, if I wasn't gigging or I wasn't doing anything physical, like that would just naturally happen in the week that would exert energy. I put on like a class on YouTube. I just searched for like a hit class on YouTube and I'd sort of do it in front of the laptop in my house. But what's happened over the course of a year now is I've got all the equipment here, but you just kind of lack in that interaction with other people when you do get fit you know what I mean which is the enjoyable part of either doing a gig that you're doing with other people and you're all getting hot and sweaty or going for a run with somebody or riding your bike somewhere with somebody or even going to the gym and lifting weights and it's annoyed me that you said you don't like lifting weights because I did chest and back today oh, and I was going to ask you what the point of it is oh, I because I can't lift my arms above here right now Pip. See, I, can. So, <laughs> don't do I it. feel I feel good well I think I do but I don't understand what the point of it is because every time I do it, I spend the next couple of days just sort of waving to people like this. Yeah, it doesn't. (laughs) No, it doesn't appeal to me. I like it's, but that's the thing because I've been doing doing it for so long. I've been able to keep it interesting and keep motivated by trying different things. How do you motivate yourself? That's a really good, sorry, I cut you off there, but that's a really good question because everybody that's listening will have at some point given it a go and maybe not carried it on. How do you keep yourself motivated? I find it hard now after the last 12 months to do. I still do it because I make myself do things I don't like sometimes, but how do you stay motivated? I think for me, I just, I know my why, like I know my why, like for me, I just, I'm so into just being healthy and it's not all about looking a certain way. I just know that the feeling I get after I've done a workout, whether it's an hour, whether it's 20 minutes, the feeling afterwards, I know I've looked after my body, I've given it what it's, what it needs. I've put effort in, I've achieved something and I've done it all before like 7am, 6, uh, oh, I started 6 say. So it's it's because I know how I feel. It keeps me motivated. Like I know it's if I don't do it, how bad I feel. 
and like how I don't feel as as I don't know like I've achieved much with my day like it starts me on a good path so to keep motivated for me is just constantly wanting to just be the best version of myself possible that's per- that's how I keep motivated and it's what what about stuff you put into your body? Because you kind of said it how, there, impo- but, how important yeah. is that? Is because that? they say oh, that so important. Like I'm on a bit of a journey with because my diet's not being the best. Like I've been good with keeping physically fit and active, and my training has stayed consistent. But I I went down the road of feeling like you know the carb fear, like not eating many carbs, and right, then okay. training did start to drop a bit because of it. I was more like I was I was fatigued. I was I just not doing my best and I since January have actually started with a diet coach so I do personal training but in terms of the food side of stuff my knowledge is not there so I started with a diet coach because and this is the great thing about Instagram is you can really find people to help you stay motivated or get you going you know you just have to reach out there's so there's a huge community of people that are just willing to help and willing to like give you advice so that's what I did and my oh everything has just changed so much because of my diet I've doubled my calorie intake but I've stayed the same weight like it's just crazy like I've shred like any sort of stored body fat that I had because my body was really deprived of like I, I'd lost how, a lot of weight how extreme is is that sort of diet because for me you you say you you your why is to be I don't know like the best version of yourself ever like for me I was I started mine going I'm in my mid-30s now so for me if I can have some beers at the weekend or if I can have um a Domino's on a Monday or something like that jackpot you know what I mean? If I can do that and still maintain the level of fitness or or shape that yeah. I've got, then that's that's where I'm at because I don't want to lose any weight. So that's that's where I'm at with it. Um, but I've never taken it to the extreme of the diet side of it. I don't get me wrong. I I, I eat healthy anyway, yeah. but I do like mm-hmm. crisps. Bloody yeah. enough chocolate. Maltesers. Wow. Thinking about them now, I'm I'm a bit excited. But. Yeah. I couldn't, I could never give all that stuff up. And I think when people yeah. think about like extreme diets, they think, oh, I'd have to give up this and I'd have to give up this. Is it, is it that serious or is it? Um, I never actually gave anything up. I just restricted myself. So I used to, I'd have a weekend where a Saturday, Sunday, where I would just have a little bit of what I wanted, still portion control. I still didn't What's a little bit? Up. What's a little bit? So like I'd wake up and have, I don't know. Maltesers. I, no, I like scones or scones. How do you say them? Scones? Scones? Scones. scones. What's the scones. fastest cake in scones. the world, Pippa? Oh, scones. 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 <laughs> I'd have like two scones for breakfast with like cream and jam. And then throughout the day then, I'd. but the thing is, I also didn't eat much. So my stomach had shrunk. So like oh, my wow. portions were quite small, but it would still just be all day. It would just be shit. So I wouldn't have anything nutritious on like a Saturday and a Sunday. But then Monday to Friday, I'd be on point strict. And I still am. Like Monday to Isn't that kind of what The Rock does? Where yeah. he does like a week yeah. of hard I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've just... Uh, are we Are we now are We now talking yeah, about Yeah, we're talking the about The Rock, mate. This is you and me, He's Carl. He's the best ever. I love yeah. him. I love him. Yeah. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the highest paid actor in the world. Take note, Thomas. <laughs> Take fucking note. I just highest I, yeah. paid actor in the world, right? Can I just divert a little bit? Highest paid actor in the world. Name me a brilliant film he's been in. Rampage. Name me another. King Kong. What in that? Off. <laughs> um, let's go back. <laughs> so let's know. let's just go back a little bit because I. I that the there's a saying that you occasionally see thrown around with anybody that's big into fitness, and that is you can't outrun a bad diet. Mm. But I like to or experiment. A or a, what's that? Or a cheat. You can't outrun a cheetah. Just a fact. They are fast. I'll give you that. They are very, no. very fast. Or but what I like to what I like to play with is what is a bad diet because yeah. I I think now. I'm at a point where I do enough that I can kind of have what I want. And I think that's a very dangerous place to be because yeah, you've got to be you've that's got to... the world that that's the world I live in. <laughs> yeah. I it's see like, it. You can I want to, I'm eating it. Once you've once you've got I think once you've hit, like I said, whatever your goal is, like whatever it is, once you feel like yourself, you're in a place where you're happy, then you can because like 
one day, even two days, is not going to undo all that work you've done, especially if you're eating well, say, like the rest of the week, you know, and a bad diet would probably just be the stuff that isn't nutritious for your body. I mean, it's not, there's no such thing I don't think as bad food. I just think it's how much you have of it. You know, a little bit of everything is going to actually benefit you. And that's, that's why I said, that's why I said how much of some, because I, I read somewhere the other day about a handful of nuts and I actually saw what a handful of nuts was. And yeah. I'll be honest with you. I have about 25 of those Bro, handfuls. Yeah. You know, a packet of Haribo, do you know the recommended like full intake of packet of Haribo is four. Four sweets. Four Haribo. I have so that I per mouthful. Have. Per mouthful. Yeah, it's yeah. portion control is, yes. the, is the thing that gets everybody. It's portion control because you can have a bit of what you want, but you just got to just don't go overboard. <laughs> okay, but but how about I'm people? I'm drowning, Pippa. I'm <laughs> bloody drowning right here. Oh, what, in oh. Haribo's? <laughs> I've been thrown <laughs> overboard and I am drowning right now. But I, you say portion control and I, I'm with you on that because uh, yeah. like I get a lot of stuff from HelloFresh and I love it. It arrives. I enjoy the cook inside of it and I'm sometimes shocked by how small the portion sizes are, but that's because yeah. I like to eat a lot. But then what I do is I get it for two people and I just eat both meals, <laughs> put it out there. But what really does, what I really do struggle with is breakfast cereal, granola, yeah. right? I get the granola mm. stuff. It's proper expensive. It comes yeah. in a little bag now, not cardboard. And it says on the side of it, it's got eight portions in it. Mm. I don't get three bowls out of it. And I'm not having big bowls. Well, yeah. I might be having big bowls. But I'm, I don't think I'm getting eight portions out of that. And 45 mm. grams, which is what they suggest you should have yeah. in a bowl of cereal. Do you weigh it? Do you weigh your... Um, your he weighs your everything, look at him. Because yeah. you'll, you'll see how small 45 grams of granola it's like is. It's that like much. Classic, isn't it? I know, I know. It's, it is crazy. I don't, that's, I don't eat that stuff like because of that because I feel like I'm not eating enough when I eat that it's because it is just so small isn't it it's tiny I'm I struggle with that but I also struggle with uh, I'm a late night snacker so yeah. I can do I can go I can be on great plan all day get up done my exercise yeah. eating right had a decent dinner not touched any booze not had any sugar and then it gets to like nine ten o'clock at night and I'm like do you know what I want I fancy a cinnamon bagel with peanut butter on it, a packet of crisps, a handful of nuts, which we've already established is 25 handfuls of nuts, <laughs> and then probably some Maltesers. And I, like, I can undo it all in one evening. Yeah. And then I get up the next morning, so angry with that, I have to do twice the amount of fitness to sort of counterbalance it. I mean, I think like, you know, if you were to try and just have like with discipline like have maybe you can do that one one day but if you just obviously tried your best to gotta do... try and find a guest now that's going to teach us about discipline <laughs> yeah we gotta do that <laughs> you, need, you need discipline now now that's what you need you've got your motivation you just need your discipline but the problem is both carl and carl, carl with everything it, and, and i with everything that we do work wise are massively massively disciplined if the job's got to be done yeah. it's got to be done with their on time apart from today when i was half an hour late Carl sorry but mo it, it the discipline's there for work it's just I don't know yeah when I'm hungry I find it really difficult because I so I have a really I have a really bad diet because I'll get up <clears throat> six o'clock in the morning I will check emails make a cup, like a cup of tea or something and I'll sit at the computer and by half a seven eight I'm good to go and I will work all day until five o'clock and then I will cook chicken and rice mm. and then that's my food for the day one meal one meal that's my food for the day it's bad yeah. and and, it, and then like you if 10 o'clock in the night if i'm watching a film or something i'll have three bags of crisps that's why because because you don't eat much when you're because you're by, by the time the night comes you haven't given your body enough stuff yeah, today. It's so awful. It, craves the shit, it craves the the refined carbs, the sugary stuff, because it's a quick fix for it. So you need, maybe you need to try and just give yourself like an hour in the day to just, or like, you know, a half hour here and there to go. Are you at home when you do? Yeah. yeah. You've just, been at home for a whole year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm left. Are you at home? Yeah. So just like, you know, go in, because I'll, I'll, even though I'm at home, I actually prep on a Sunday. So I'll have all my stuff in like tubs. So I can oh, just wow. go downstairs and bring it up to my desk and just make sure I'm eating. Because I just consistently try and have five or six meals a day, but smaller portions, just so that right, my body okay. is, you know, continuously working. It's not then by nighttime, I'm not craving anything because I've fed it what it needs during the day. I'm right. not in that state of like, oh my god, I'm craving all this this crap. 
I'm actually just nice, nice and tired. I can have my one meal and then I'll go to bed. And like, you know, that a genuine that's... question here. What about smoothies? Are they good or bad? Because I, Again, I've heard like such conflicting things. Some people make a smoothie and they think it's brilliant and it's got, oh, it's got everything I need in it for the day. It starts me off brilliant. And then some people are like, oh, don't, don't do the smoothie thing. Don't put loads of apples and uh, berries in it and all that because it's <laughs> bad for you. It's just full of sugar. I don't know. There's no such thing as bad. I, there's, there really isn't any such thing as bad food. I think even sugar, it's not. What about McDonald's, Pippa? I was bad. thinking katsu, chicken nugget, <laughs> sweet curry <laughs> sauce, and a McFlurry. I'm definitely having a Chinese tonight. Can we knock off, mate? Day. I'll go for a run tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll undo it all in the morning. It's fine. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't because I just think, you know, if you crave these foods, I mean, like, you've got to give in. But to no one craves a smoothie, that. surely. No well, no, I like a good I smoothie. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not as much as I like katsu nuggets, but I like them. If you, if you, like I said, if you were to try it now, just one one day where you had your cravings and then just we're disciplined for the rest of the week, then you'd be fine. If you won't feel like okay. you're missing out, but it's when you're doing it all the time that it becomes a bad habit and it becomes a down, you know, downward spiral then. My, my biggest issue um, with sort of discipline and staying on point with, with what I eat and with any exercise is and Carla agree with this, is when you've got a big job on or when there's lots of work on, like, I don't know, in a July or August of a normal year, I'm not saying it's going to happen this year, but I might do 25 shows. Yeah. yeah. And that means and I'm the, in the car. The road is awful, right? Yeah, like I'm in the car in. 10 hours a day. Dude, it's I'm so staying bad. in travel lodges. I'm eating out of vending machines. I don't stay in travel lodges. Well, I'm, you know, <laughs> he's lost touch with the common man. <laughs> but... I don't even know how much a pint of milk is anymore, boys. What is it? Give me a grand. I'll go and get you one. Um, it's about a grand, isn't it? Uh, that was a band. That was band. Terrible joke. But yeah, the, the issue with it is you stop at a service station at two in the morning. Yeah. Everything is shut apart from McDonald's. Yeah. You get up in the morning w. and Smith. you, you, yeah, there you go. And all you can have is a, is a sandwich, a bag of crisps and a Coke, which is a exactly bar, bar the chocolate. same. Yeah. And a yeah. bar of chocolate. And that's when I struggle because there isn't time to prep. There isn't time to um, tub up all the food that yeah. I'm going to need for the week. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've never tubbed up anything. Um, I made something once and <laughs> took it with me the next Saved day. Saved it for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that's that's where it's really, really hard because it's there yeah. is nowhere that you can do it. And also as well, if you turn up at a gig, most of the time, they'll bring you like sandwiches and chips back. Yeah, or you, 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 um, you do your sound check at say four o'clock or whatever. And then you have until seven to go and find somewhere i won't eat then i won't eat then because i don't want it i don't want it sitting here when i'm jumping up and down so i then it's then 11 o'clock at night when i'm in the car and and you're starving so so past hungry two big macs yeah katsu nuggets yeah Yeah, see i mean i can i can kind of understand how because my partner works away sometimes as well so it's like he has the same problem but it's like for him, he'll go to a garage and there'll be example, you know, you could get the, the sandwiches and all that, but he'll try his best to get like the grenade bar or like an apple, just something a bit like more nutritious. I mean, there's only so much you can do really if that is your job and there isn't much option. There's there's not really a lot you can do, but you're just going to have to find a way then to just, like you said, work it off. Maybe like the next day, do what you can. It's not always going to be as easy as, you know. Not going to lie. Not the answer I was hoping for. No. <laughs> what was the answer you were hoping for? <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Just thought it was, thought you were going to make it all all right. Thought you were going to say, oh, you're in the car. It's great. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like one, one day a week, I'd be saying that. Like, Is not it just, like... But in that one day, can you go silly on that one day and it'd be okay? It would be. It would be okay, but it creates bad habits so I wouldn't because you still want to be you still want to make sure that you're on you want to stay disciplined because what you don't want to do is that then turn into two days and then it becomes oh actually, yeah, four days, nice. and then it becomes three days four days five so it's it's more about like just instilling good behavior so I wouldn't I wouldn't advise doing a full day of just binging I could just see the cogs in Carl's head turning there going I could just see him being really sensible for six days and then having like 10 bags of crisps five yeah. bags of Haribo um all on the cheat day but it's like when you think about it, if you did like the rock, stuff, you ate like six days of the week, you ate bad. And then one day you didn't eat anything and you just had a salad. 
that's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything for you. You're, you're not going yeah. to so say your goal is to lose weight. That's not going to happen. So if you had six days of the week where you ate well, you had all your macros and you had your good carbs, your good fats, your good proteins, or you did what you could. And then on the weekend, you just had one day where you just were like, nah, yeah, I'm just having whatever I want. It in the long run, that isn't going to do anything. It's not going to affect you, you know. I think I think Carl's problem at the moment is he has seven days a week where he just goes, ah, oh, it, I love what I want, and I lo- I love him for it. I love him for it. So I did have another question about um, uh, kind of kind of food, but what about alcohol? Alcohol okay or bad for maintaining? It's I think for me a healthy alcohol- body like past experiences if I have alcohol I'm then it's like you have one glass two glass three glass and then it's everything's out the window you're like oh, okay take like you said take it is party time baby yeah, so, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> and everything goes it's fine and I think yeah I mean you've got to you can't fully restrict your your whole life you can't be like oh I'm not gonna have a drink with my friends or I'm not gonna go out yeah. and enjoy but I just think you know the next day just get back on it if you did have a you know a, a night where you did drink a lot just get back on it the next day Hydrate can, yourself, can you drink a can lot. you just clarify because I'm from a very different part of the world pip but what a lot means when you say no, no, no that's my next question <laughs> but when you say get back on it where i live that means if you've been out on the oh, town no. the next day you just yeah, get back just get on back it. on him yeah that's okay. not what you mean yeah, as long as you've been for like, i think we've all found out as long as you've been for a run just get on it just get back on it get back on that horse take another couple of pictures i did have um i did have uh <laughs> Right, I didn't get on a horse. There were no pictures. <laughs> it's it's not happening. Um, I did um, I did have a couple of glasses of wine with my mum last night with dinner, nice. and uh, I see her on a Sunday. Um, we watch the podcast, and then uh, we have a couple of glasses of wine. And I might have had more than two glasses last night. And I'll be honest with you, you on was, a bike or what? It was not. I, I did. I made myself do it because I wanted to. You know get back on it and I mean the fitness not the alcohol um but it did make it did make everything so much more difficult what would normally be a semi enjoyable experience that I, today it was I was counting the minutes and going when can I stop this it makes you sweat it, a lot more alcohol it well, it's, it's 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 poison really isn't it it's like you're poisoning your body I mean I don't want to be a delicious poison it's bad but I do I will say though like well, because of lockdown and not going out or anything like that, I feel like so much has got like my skin has got better and my sleeping has got better because I'm not going out as much. And it's like now that's happened. Now I've seen a benefit of that because I've seen it. I want to keep it. Do you know? So when my I think sleeping's back, awful. Oh, is it? I slept so like, bad. I'm a sleeper. Vivid like, dreams like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> What do, you, what do you dream about? Like talk, us, talk, and, uh, talk us through. Yeah, I have nightmares nearly every night. Do That's you really? Bad. Yeah, 33 I am. I have nightmares every night. Do I don't dream. Pet? Cheese? Don't you? Nope. You're not human. Do not dream. You're weird. Who don't, don't dream. dream? I was hypnotized once. I think we talked about it in a few, a few episodes ago. And, um, and now you don't dream? Don't dream. Can't dream. That's so weird. But I talk, apparently. In your sleep? Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> never about you and never about fitness. Where's my button? Oh. Oh. Thank you so, so much for coming on the show today, Pip, and talking oh, to people no. about fitness. If they want to, because um, you do some personal training and I've seen yeah. you're an advocate for all things that are healthy. Um, where can we find you? Where can we find you? Yeah, so I've got a, um, a fitness Instagram account. So it's at OneFitPip. So just numero one. Pip. yeah so and then obviously i've got my personal page on there but i'm happy to if you want to drop me a message it's public so anything you know any questions that you have or anyone has about say a motivated discipline any tips i can give you know i'll do my best to help so yeah Smashing and do it. you want to train me do you want to get me off my ass is that this is that going to be a thing now this would be I'll brilliant. Run, i'm going to run past your house get you and we're going to go on a run i'm going to show you how good it is you're going to feel yeah. all right i'm yeah. in I if mean, you do, if you do do that, and I sincerely yeah, hope we'll you do, yeah. can you film it? Because yeah. I will, I will enjoy watching yeah. it. And uh, ten minutes in, where Carl's like, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, I'm game for this. I'm game. Thanks. I want Sounds it. brilliant. <laughs> Hashtag get Carl fit in 2021. Brilliant. 
Someone, exactly. someone who's watching, if we can get that on a t-shirt. On a t-shirt, um, yeah, I'll be, be wearing brilliant. that next week. Oh, Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. Cool, 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 oh. cool, 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 cool. Well, thanks for having me, guys. It's been great to no, chat. No, absolutely. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you, you very time. much. Well, I think we all learned quite a lot of good stuff there, Carl. Yes, mate. Like In katsu Riverdale. curry, McDonald's, chicken nuggets. Oh, mate. Have you had them yet? Really, no, I haven't. But you mentioned it like four times. Did I mention it that many times? <laughs> I've got them on the brain. It was so good because I was like, I've never tried these. I know what they are, but I've never tried them. And you're They're like, um, yeah, you know, I can't wait to have some cats and chicken nuggets. Imagine chicken nuggets. Do it. You guys yeah. do it. Imagine, you got I me to close head. my eyes. Um, Is anything weird going to happen now if I close my eyes? Well, I'm going to draw back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew. That's a Joseph and his amazing technical dream coat reference for you there. Just firing him off. Um, just imagine chicken nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing now it. imagine them better. That's hard. It is hard. It's very hard. Unless you're Jamie Oliver, who's telling all the kids not to eat chicken nuggets. Mental health and fitness month is kind of done. Yep. Uh, but what have we got coming up in May? May. Can you At believe the it? moment in May. Uh, Don't we have a live episode coming up next week? Yeah. And followed by four weeks that aren't planned. So I would say that at the <laughs> moment, two words sum up May for me. Okay. Blind panic. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. So no. we do have a live episode coming up next week. Mm -hmm. So if people want to go and do the live episode, where do they go, Tom? Explain to I'm them gonna what they do. I'm going to stick it on the screen now for people who are watching. If they are listening, they need to send an email to, what's the email, Carl? Awkwardturkeypodcast at gmail.com. Awkwardturkeypodcast at gmail.com. So both of those things will be on the screen. You send an email. It's totally free. And you can come and sit in on the audience and watch the show. Now, we haven't told yeah. anybody what we're going to do in the show yet. So maybe no. now, at the end of April, so that everybody can get excited, we yeah. tell them exactly what is coming up. All right. Mate, I'm going to be wearing a suit. A suit. <laughs> a bloody suit. Me? In a suit. With a dicky bow. What mm. is happening to it? What's, I'm what excited. is life? <laughs> what is life? Me you in did, a bloody suit? Look, you did, you did also say in, in a previous episode that you were going to wear a suit for the top half and nothing on the oh, bottom half. Oh, the pants, yeah. I'm going to be in a pair of box shorts. Is this going to be the trousers off episode that we promised everybody? Oh, damn everybody? right. Damn oh. right. Okay. Tuxedo yeah, top I'm, half. I'm all good with that, mate. I'm all good with that. No problem. We're yep. putting tuxedos up. But why are, we, why are we sticking a suit on? Because we are having the dandies. The dandies. For anybody who doesn't understand that reference, and he said it a few times and I don't understand it entirely, <laughs> it's kind of like the Oscars. Is it like and the Oscars? Dundies. Yeah, yeah, but it's called the, the Dundies. Why are we calling it the Dundies? Well, it's because it's from the office, from the American office, the Dunder Mifflin Awards. But we, yeah, we're having the, we are recreating the Dundies for the night. The right. Undies. The okay. Undies. Holy shit, this is right in itself. The Undies. No, no trousers. Suit up. No trousers. The Undies. The Undies. Okay. So the award ceremony is called the Undies, and we're going to be handing out awards to... In our underpants. This is brilliant. This is yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. It's almost like we should be on drive time radio. <laughs> this is going to be perfect, because I guarantee I'll turn up in my undies, and you'll be like, mate, I, I wore trousers. You've made it really good. <laughs> no, I'm good. Listen, if this we're kids watching, it, Carl. If we're going for it, we're going for it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm fine. Who's, so we're giving away I know awards. you're fine. You wore your underpants on a horse for a picture. I didn't, I know, right. right. In the you, water you with really, snow. You, you really were on a threw... mountain in Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> it's April. You threw Pip earlier when we were talking about fitness. Yeah, I know. <laughs> by just coming out of nowhere and saying, <laughs> and you were on a horse. And she sort of went... Anyway, um, nutrition yeah, is important. She's trying to do. She's trying to do the job we've asked her to mate, do. Mate, why? Why? It's me. If people don't already know, it's Mister Random. Hello. <laughs> I, I could have interjected there, and I thought Bye. I'll just leave it. He's got to do something to finish that off. He can't just let that Hello. hang. <laughs> Hello. Um, so it's an award That's ceremony. That's going to be on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if you can have one that just says hello <laughs> and i have one that says dr, dr. beer 
Um, I, I'm wondering isn't. if that's going to be a thing after an entire month. Now, Carl, it's an award ceremony called the mm -hmm. Undies because we're in our yep. undies while we give out the awards. <laughs> But who's winning an award and for what? Ooh, well, that's that's what we're going to reveal next week. We'll have special guests. We'll have past podcast people. Try saying that. Past <laughs> podcast people. I'm laughing because everything he says <laughs> is, is completely un... Uh, by, at this point, we've got special guests. In my head, I'm going, no, hey, no Pips, one's confirmed. We'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I, I enjoyed the last live episode. I thought it was um I thought it was a lot of fun. If a little bit nerve wracking. Would you it like was... me to sit down for this one? Um was... I'll repeat. It was a what... bit of you that didn't like it. I could tell. Um you you were very, very excitable and mm. I didn't know if I was going to be able to continue to do anything podcast related afterwards when you started throwing a turkey around and screaming at Jan for not helping you order her a pizza. Um, but my mum did say to me straight afterwards, she went, you can't should do every episode stood up. So um, I'm going to I'm going to say stand up for it and I'll just let the, let the let the stand up because I'll be on my pants. <laughs> This is also this is this is obviously we we say it a lot, but it's filmed so far out of sync. What I'm also gonna wear, I'm just gonna wear my pants, uh, suit jacket, shirt, and a dicky bow, and then awkward turkey podcast socks, pink socks, baby. Phenomenal. I mean, this is this is this is written itself. Writing itself, mate. This is absolutely written. What itself. were we worried about? Um. Well, the other four weeks, I know, but yeah, the other yeah, the the, <laughs> the void of May that goes into June, July, and August with. Uh... <laughs> we do have one guest booked. Oh, we so do, far. we do, we do, we do. But we'll talk about yeah. that on on the live episode when we get there, because um, yeah, that's that's super so, cool. Because we're gonna, we're gonna need content. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, what I do like about this as an idea as well is because I know you and you and me are very very good when there's like weeks away from something that going, oh yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. I know yeah. full well on the day of the live episode, you and me will exchange text messages and go, really wish we'd worn trousers tonight. Why have we said that we're, <laughs> that we're not gonna? <laughs> but now because we're calling it, the award ceremony is called the undies, yeah. we have no choice. I want to call it the dundies, but cross the D out. Perfect, it's right in itself. I love this. And just I for everybody, that, everybody that's watching that doesn't understand the Dundies, what Carl is doing is Carl, is, who's gone against every single Office reference that Adam Westcott has thrown at it. Because I watch the American Office. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do. But yeah, you just down made, with the kids. You're so you've old. Just, you guys are so old. Adam's you, bloody older than you. He's having yeah, he he's having an award for oldest <laughs> person on a podcast. No, he's having an award for getting away with so many bloody murders. Yeah, I've Be got to stop saying best that. killer. He's never murdered anyone. Well, he's not been caught for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that we know of. So that's coming up next week. Again, information's on the screen. If you want to get yourself a ticket to be in the audience and watch the show filmed Why wouldn't last you? time. What? Why wouldn't you want to get a yourself a ticket? We're going to be in our underpants. Yeah, Line of Duty's back on, I think. So I don't know oh. if it's, uh, it's going to throw people. It might have finished by then. It might have finished by then. It will. Um, it will. I've got to watch it. It will yeah. have finished by then. Trust me. Good. Good. So we, we'll see you next week, 100% live. Yeah. For the awards ceremony. Um, Making me it, nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous now. I'm nervous now, but here's the brilliance of it. At the moment, it's only the 22nd of March, so we'll forget all about it, and in a month's time, we'll get yeah. nervous again. Great. Shall we, um, shall we drop those mics and then... Please, and then roll the titles, mate. Roll the titles. Yeah, off we go. Thank you.